What is up, Kelly and Knights? Welcome back to Raikuzen Games video. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out the Spider Queen. So I've chosen her for this video because I think she's one of the coolest units in the game. She's great in both PvE and PvP. So I've gone ahead and created this infograph as you can see behind me. Um, they're for people who are wondering what are the skills I should choose, what are the runes I should put on her, what are the rune slots for 246 and things like that. And for those that want a little bit more information, I've actually created a page 2 as well that um, has more description uh, and if they want even more description you know they can check out this video for a uh, for a showcase um, and if you think stuff like this is really useful for yourself or for the community um, hit me up with a like and maybe even a subscribe and that way it lets me know that I'm on the right track so I'm actually thinking of making this into a whole series you know I might do one for each of the nat 5s and nat 4s in the game just to help uh, the community out and uh, a lot of the players out um, so if you want to see more stuff like this um, you know hit that subscribe button and the like button and I'll probably be posting these pictures on Instagram I think um, just somewhere that I can you know upload quite easily uh, so check me out on IG Raikus and Games um, I'll probably leave a link somewhere in the description uh, but yeah with that let's check out the Spider Queen so looking at the PvE section I've chosen those skills skill 1 you can't change skill 2 is the AOE one that um, has an elemental advantage so you get a little bit of a crit rate increase and attack uh, increase the skill 3 is the one that has a 30% chance to reset the enemy skills so that's good for um, you know Spire and Dreams where you're trying to control and CC I guess the enemy units and that way you know you're not gonna get hit with the enemy skill 2 and skill 3 or you're not you're not gonna allow them to heal um, and if you combine it with say desperation runes with a 25% chance to stun um, it's it's pretty good for crowd control having two AOE skills and if you want to play her as a farmer in black pools uh, you know attack crit damage attack build is uh, is great for that and she should be able to one shot each of the stages Moving on to the PvP section, I've actually split the skill 2 in half. Um, the first half is the same as what I suggested before, the AoE one. And the second one that you could possibly play is also the one that uh, transfers all of her negative effects onto an enemy and stuns them or binds them for one turn. And basically that skill is good if you're trying to fight against a, a speed team with a really fast wind walker um, you know if you stun their wind walker that means they can't do the energy boost and allow their team to also you know follow the wind walker and that's why the skill 3 passive cobwebs is quite uh, quite good so cobwebs allows spider queen to always go first even if spider queen has zero plus speed and the other you know enemy wind walker has like you know 300 total speed and i've noticed that it also cobwebs is also messing up the speed order of a lot of teams so imagine if you know they're trying to flame spirit you they, they need an attack buff and then the flame spirit but then sometimes it reverses the order so it'll make flame spirit go first and then uh, and then the una go later which is um yeah which is messing up the order of how they would prefer to do it so looking at the runes i've recommended desperation berserk and conflict uh, conflict being the probably the least desirable one because although it is good in providing that attack buff for the rest of the team it's not as great as berserk or desperation so if you were to equip spider queen with desperation if um, you know imagine cobwebs allows you to go first then you use your aoe skill you have a 25 percent chance for each of those units to be stunned so when a speed team tries to hit you being stunned uh, on turn one can be quite detrimental depending on who gets stunned so with berserk what you're actually hoping for is that she goes first with cobwebs does her aoe skill 2 or whatever and then 
uh, goes into her skill one and if it does most of the time it's enough to one shot a lot of the uh, a lot of the enemy units all right so let's go check out spider queen in the game all right um we're gonna play against this person's team so this is a two-way <laughs> showcase of spider queen uh, her, his spider queen is a uh, hundred speed mine's at 137 so technically mine should go first I'm just gonna double check the skills cool all right so mine's gonna go first get a stun I got one stun uh, immunity attack buff cool cool Alright, here we go. I, I think I need to get rid of his Spider Queen first because that 25% chance to ignore damage on skill 1 can actually kill a lot of things. Um, okay, next. I think Dragoon is normally built with high defense. Yeah. So ignore defense on a defense heavy unit is pretty good. Uh, defense break. Cool. And then Holy Swordsman just putting in the work. Alright, second team. Um, this is the speed team I was telling you about. So stuff like this. Having Windwalker stunned, Una stunned, or Flame Spirit stunned is going to significantly, you know, reduce their chances of winning. So if you're looking for a speed counter, Spider Queen is your woman. So check it out none of them is on immunity because normally teams like this it's a little bit hard to ruin with immunity um, all right so I'm gonna go with an AOE and let's see if it stuns anything stuns nothing but it's okay why didn't Una give the speed buff yeah, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the biggest threat. And I think from here it's game over, right? So I'm just gonna auto the rest. Yeah. All right, so I'll show you against this tanky team. You know, Asura you see a lot in the higher tier um, arena and Elven Queen is just so OP. I think Dragoon and Ironheart are defense heavy units. So Spider Queen should be able to do a lot of damage against those type of units. Uh, stun, no stuns, that's cool. All right. And then we're gonna hit and cheat each other's walls. I didn't get the, uh, the proc there, but that's okay. Ooh, I got it there. <laughs> That uh, yeah, like I was saying before, right? Spider Queen. Oh man, it's dead now. GG. All right, so I need to work on Asura while he has that Oblivion uh, debuff. Oh no. Stun. Nope. Stun. Cool. And I think I can order the rest now. So you can see Spider Queen just... When she gets going, that 25% chance to ignore defense is pretty good. Pretty good. But the problem is she's a bit squishy, so I'm thinking maybe I should try um, play her with... HP instead. So yeah, that's my video on Spider Queen. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see more of this type of thing, 
hit that like and subscribe button especially if you want to see more of the infographs let me know in the comments below if if you know you'd appreciate something like that and check out my instagram where i'll probably be posting this stuff right um and with that i'll see you next time guys